we'll have an opening prayer. We'll allow the worship team to take us, you know, in a higher level in the spirit. Father, we thank you, Lord. We give all the praise and glory and honor. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. John chapter 14. I'm not kept my Bible yet. John chapter 14 says, If you love God, you shall follow my commandments. And so also, the Bible says, you will love one another. Having this one in our minds, if there is anything, weaknesses in our life, that will be a that will be a stoppage of your blessing. Any matter of hatred, any matter of jealousies in the church, in your neighbor's house, your neighbor's place, in your relatives, please empty all that. Things that happened in the past, very bad, I know. Everyone has gone through some type of trial, tribulation, hurts, suffering. But don't bring those things back and keep an obstacle for your blessing. You try to walk, run, and receive all manner of blessings of God. You know, yesterday he said that Jesus prepares himself to pass by. If the pastor does not understand, does not know about Jesus, but if he shouts, the blind can hear his, a blind can receive his healing. And if the woman knows that this is Jesus, he's wearing the garment, that is more than enough for her. So she touched the garment, she got healed, passing by. How Jesus will pass through the word of God, through himself, through any of the situation, through you, we do not know along with the pastor or before than that we don't know but if you are not prepared you are not going to see him passing by so let's all bow down in the presence of god let's ask the lord father we thank you lord we give all the praise and good honor we find all part of darknesses that works against every brother every sister every family lord and release your anointing your healing your deliverance your blessing your breakthrough blessing of god upon every one of them Especially, Lord, we want to see the worship team and all the children to receive their breakthrough blessing of God. They shall never be, Lord Jesus, in sorrow, spirit, and agony. Give them encouragement. You are the living God. You are the King of kings. You hold the, all the earth. You are the God Almighty to bless them. Their hearts shall be always cheered up. And we thank you, Lord, today you are going to speak to us. You are going to do marvelous things in the sight of your son, in the sight of the people of God. You're going to use your son, your daughter, sorry. You're going to use your servant in a mighty way. And we are all going to see the bliss of God. Receive the bliss of God. Receive the healing of God. Receive the deliverance of God. Receive the breakthrough bliss of God. We all shall be blessed. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, give him praise. Glory to God. Glory to God. A palace of praise, a throne of thanksgiving, made for the King of Kings. Sing out a joyful song, His love goes on and on. When praises abound, His glory surrounds us, filling His temple here.
the song of the saints and lives in the praises. The Lord inhabits the song of the saints and lives in the praises. Sing out, the Lord is pure, built in the temple of the Lord, a palace of praise, a throne. shall increase in us tonight. We pray that the generous of God shall come in our life tonight. We pray that the healing of God shall come tonight in our life. And Lord Jesus, every matter of break the bliss of God shall come to every brother, every sister, every son, every daughter, every family shall rejoice. Wherever the sons and daughters, wherever the brothers and sisters, in whichever country, wherever they are gone, Lord, touch them all, bless them all. Lord, many requests we have received and you read all of them and give them healing, deliverance, blessing. All this request you shall grant it and fill them with the power of God. Amen. Fill them with the anointing of God. Hallelujah. Fill them with the healing of God. Jesus. Fill them with the deliverance of God. Hallelujah. They shall all be receiving. They break the bless of God. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Who makes the skies into glory?
days including today is left and Lord you shall pass by every brother every sister every young man and young woman we shall see your touch we shall see your power we shall feel that fire oh yes we want to express thy holiness and righteousness of God 
everything shall be changed in our lives every family shall rejoice every backbone every knee pain every knee bones everything shall be healed every cancerous disease shall be burned Every demonic cold upon the uterus shall be broken. Every bone pain shall disappear. Every Satan that is holding the shoulders shall be cut out tonight. Every heaviness from the family shall be gone. The demon of court cases shall be broken. Demon of devilic power shall be broken. Generational curse shall be broken. Generational power of darkness shall be broken. Every evil curse shall be broken. Every family shall rejoice with the love of God and the power of God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.
have a song now soon after the song you can take over come here pastor we want you in the video yeah yeah i want to stand here no all right okay no problem
So I turn the camera that side. Okay, switch up all the lights and turn the camera that side. ready to give you the grace and the mercy through which he has received the anointing and he is ready to receive ready to deliver it unto you he said i want to release i want to deliver people have to receive it so let's welcome pastor makani nisha with a hand of clap offering to the glory of god thank you pastor thank you very much for coming thank you very much thank you amen can we take this yes bring it here okay i stand alone i want to thank god for this opportunity to be with you in this place we know when yes yes it's fine which can face there thank you 
Thank you very much. Um, like I said yesterday, I thank God for the pastor's obedience to bring me here. Uh, it's not easy for, for a person like me to travel, though I have all these opportunities of traveling everywhere. Yeah, last, yesterday I was saying to you that uh, I've been preaching for 28 years where I have a church there. And I've been traveling everywhere, but I have never come here. I have never come here. And it's the first time in our country maybe also in Africa, to see an African coming here to preach to you. Amen. Amen. So, uh, I have been speaking with our pastor about certain things which I saw, which I will also share a little bit with you to make you to understand. Because gospel, we are entrusted with it for a short time. As much as we are here, it's a, it's a test for us. Remember that in every generation, God has been gathering the rushes to himself. So for us to be here is a test because we cannot live longer than the years we have lived and we don't know when we are going away. So we have to be always ready. Always ready. Another thing was, uh, I was looking at you here, when you were giving offering, yeah. I, I, I felt so bad. I just felt so bad, because where your treasure is, that's where your heart is. And I said, maybe it's because you don't have, or because many people in our Bibles, they got punishment because of the offering. I felt like it is good not to give than just to give. I felt like I would tell you that. Uh, when you see people like me coming here, you must know that the eyes of God are on you. God is watching you. Yesterday I told uh, your pastor even uh, the man I'm traveling with that I don't even want to eat food. <laughs> you know, I don't even want to eat anything. Uh, because of what I saw, what God wants to do with you. Amen. So, Amen. I, I want to see it happen. So my advice is, this is the revelation I was told. How many years you are left to live on earth? How many years? And the moment when you realize that you are not better than your fathers, you are not better than your mothers, you will start to hold on. I want to tell you something. You need to hold on. I have a daughter who's 35 years. And I was checking her age, my age, and my parents. They are gone. Uh, your grandchildren, they don't reach the tears. And you are the same. So the moment they reach the tears, yourself, you are left, but you have to see their parents going. But it can happen any time that God can just decide when he sees that it's fit for you to go. So salvation must be very important. Amen. Salvation to us. Uh, when we come to church, like us in South Africa, 
we are very serious, very serious. Because we know that we are borrowed time. Remember the Bible says you are appointed to live once, but after that what? Judgment. So judgment is coming. So we need to be very serious. Um, I can give you an example that I want to share with you. When our pastor was telling him that I'm not happy about the way you people give. Because this, in the time of Jesus, Jesus spoke about it. He said, when the, the heaven was closed, when the heaven was closed, it was only one man who was sent to a widow in Zarephath. God used a widow to sustain the man of God. Whereas they were rich people. And what makes them to die on the time of that famine was because they were not seeing the importance of that man. And Jesus said, a prophet is not known at home. Jesus said something like this. So now I'm here to tell you that, okay, we have the servants of God here. And then you people here, you must not expect anyone to support them, but you do. Because look when God can send someone, somewhere, to come and support them here. It's, it's very bad for you to see someone coming from far to come and sustain a man of God. And the Bible says, I have commanded a widow to come and sustain you. And when that man reached there, it's called Elijah. When he reached there, he said to that widow, give me water. She ran because water is useless. And but when she was running, he said, hey, give me the last food you have. And she said, man of God, the hunger was too much here, and I'm left with the last food. And the man of God spoke a word that day and say, that food will never dry off. You know, for God to sustain you in the time of trusting him, you have to be faithful with what you are given. If not, you are going to have these things. You can be in this country, whereas you are under famine. You can still suffer in the country that God has established. Can you see what happened to to this man Elijah, when God said, go away from this place. This was a land of milk and honey. But that land, everything dried off because of that. Because of sin. Just because of the king who was ruling there and everybody was listening to him. So I'm here to tell you that uh, with what you have, you don't have long time. I don't know if you're hearing me. You don't have long time with it. You don't have long time. So you can trust God with what you have and support God's work. If you hear me say amen. amen. Because you are not, this car you are driving soon, you won't drive it. It's a test for you. It's a test. Where, where are our mothers? I don't have parents, they are gone. And where are our grandfathers? They are gone. And they were stronger than us. The generation of now is weaker than the one that was before because of the food you are eating. But I'm here to tell you that it is time we rise up as a church. This church, for us to bring Holy Spirit here is easy to work in this place. It's when we value God's things and we value his servants. Amen. I don't know if you're hearing me. Tell your neighbor, say, let's value God's things and let's value his servants. I want to tell you that since as I've been preaching, I've resigned from my work. And I don't have a business. And I'm supported by people I'm preaching to. And they give me enough. And they are blessed. Even this church can be like that. Don't allow your pastor to do everything when you are there. It's very dangerous. It's very dangerous. Yeah. Many pastors today, they work because your stand in the Lord is affected. 
And when you start to love the world, the love of God will never be with you. So it's time now we stand as Christians. We stand with bold statements or bold things and say we need our church to move forward and support these pastors. And bless them. It's better you become a fool for God. And when you're a fool for God, you become wise before him. So I'm just saying this before I preach to you. When I was coming here, he, he said to me the message I was preaching was very good yesterday. So he said, which message today? I says, I don't know, I've got many messages because I've been preaching. I just say, I've got many messages. But one of the messages today is, you are not here forever. You are not here forever. I want to tell you that in spirit, we see you like trees. I don't know if you're hearing me. In spirit, we see you like trees. So a tree cannot be there forever. Soon, it will dry off. So your body is like a tree. So let's have fruits that when the Lord comes, he will take us home. There is heaven. If you're hearing me, say amen. amen. So that is my message. God bless you. Shake somebody and says, hey, we don't have much time here. So, yeah. Jesus is coming. Yes, God bless you. So, I want to preach. I want to preach with uh, the message. Isaiah, the book of Isaiah. If you have the Bible, you can open the book of Isaiah. Uh, yes, Isaiah. Let's read verse four, chapter 41, verse 9 to 13. Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth, and called thee from the chief men thereof, and said unto thee, Thou art my servant. I have chosen thee, and not cast thee away. Carry on reading to 13. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yeah, I will help thee. Yeah, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them and shalt not find them. Even them that contended with thee, they that war against thee shall be as nothing. And as thing of naught. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this word in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, today, I have this small message to you. Uh, this is the message that God gave to a prophet when they were in exile when they were in exile uh, not long i realized that we are all in exile so this is the message that suits all of us we are all in exile so a prophet was looking at the people and his heart was broken and now this is the biggest prophet like a major prophet and then he began to speak as if he is speaking with one person. When he was speaking this message, it's as if he was speaking with a nation, but it was as if he was speaking with one person. And say, you are my servant. You are my servant. Amen. You are my servant. And I've chosen you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I have not rejected you. Why the message of I have not rejected you because they are, I mean, they are outside of their country. So you look rejected when you went out of home. And the Lord was saying, I have loved you and I'm with you. 
So today my message is, the Lord is with you. Because if you can see here, the message is, do not fear anything. The Lord said, I'm with you. Do not fear anything. Listen, this is a foreign land. And you are going alone. And God says, I'm with you. So it means there were intimidations and there were things that were strength, I mean threatening. But the Lord says, I'm with you. Do not fear anything. If you are hearing me say amen. amen. The Lord said, I will take you with my righteous hand. This has happened and is still happening even today. I will take you with my righteous hand. In other words, you won't be defeated. Amen. Whatever you are going through, you won't be defeated. Okay, let me just read something I want to share with you. Your enemies, you will search for them, you will never find them. And those who are against you, they will be as nothing. In a foreign land, those who are against you will be as nothing. Why? Because... I'm with you. Many times we, we reach a level because of the challenges that we are facing. And we begin to think that, no, this I cannot, I'm, I'm tired. Here the Lord says, I'm with you in your sickness. I'm with you in your pain. I'm with you in your trouble. And I will make sure that those who are against you will be like nothing. Once God says, I'm with you, he gives you favor. Amen. I favor you. In other words, there are other people who are rejected. I'm with you. In other words, there are other people I'm not with. So those who are contested with you, they will look as nothing. Amen. This is the scripture that when I'm traveling, you know when you are traveling sometimes everywhere, I remember I was going to California, and the flight that we're in, shifted like when it's going like this, it shifted like this and people scream i laugh i laugh let us say why i was laughing I say, I, uh, something came to me to tell me because you are with me if this airplane can go like this can go like this but you are with me and because I, you are with me i will strengthen you i will make sure that those who are against you will be nothing I'll just give you an example. There was a time where I was going to preach in Nigeria. I was a young pastor. I was invited in another church in Abuja. So they were saying, the flies there, they fall from Lagos to Abuja. So I was sitting there, and this lady here was having a rosary. She was praying like this. And she was talking, and I realized she was Catholic. And I told my sister, that why it's like you are frightened. She says, aeroplane, they always fall here. And I said, my sister, God has given me a message to go and preach there. So if this aeroplane can fall, it means God was lying. The destiny that God has set for you will be established because the Lord is with you. When the Lord says, I'm with you, he doesn't end there. He says, I will strengthen you. You cannot be strengthened for nothing. You cannot overcome for nothing. There is something that God wants to do with you. And this thing we need to see today. If you are hearing me say amen. amen. I was also looking at some scriptures. I found that in the book of Judges chapter 6. Because I just want to share with you. I want you to go and read the scriptures from verse 11 to 13. Judges chapter 6. And there came an angel of the Lord, mm -hmm. and sat under an oak which was in Ophrah, that pertained unto Josh the Abizarite, and his son Gideon, threshed wheat by the winepress to hide it from the Midianites. Verse 12, And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him, and said unto him, The Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of Elo. Can we hear that? Can we, can we just read? 
carrying on. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said unto him, The Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of the Lord. 13. And Gideon said unto him, O oh my God, O oh my Lord, if the Lord be with us, why then is all this befallen us? And where befall his miracles which our fathers told of, saying, Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord hath forsaken us and delivered us into the hands of the Midianites. Can you hear that? Now this man, when he hear the Lord is with you, he said, The Lord cannot be with me. Because I know when the Lord is with you, there are signs and wonders that shows. But here, we are in a place where you say the Lord is with us. So where are those signs and wonders? And the, the message was coming to say, listen, the Lord is with thee. And you are the one. You are the one. Tell him, you are the one. You are the one. You are the, one. the Lord is with you. In other words, the answer is coming from you. Now listen to this. The man was searching for the answers, the signs that happens on that time when they moved out from Egypt. They passed the Red Sea. So the man is remembering that, but the Midianites now here, they were oppressing them. And the Bible says when they saw these Midianites, they will come and just uproot the seed. In other words, there was nothing to grow. Also, there was nothing to harvest. They become more poor and poor. Now, the angel came and said, hey, the Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. So he looked at himself and said, how can you say the Lord is with me when the media are doing like this? Where is that God that our father served? Why has denied us? And the Lord says, I'm with you. You are the one to take over. You are the one to conquer your enemy. You are the one to overcome. If you are hearing me say amen. I'm here to tell you that the Lord is with you. Amen. You are the one to overcome. Listen, listen to this. There's no mistake that you are in this land. There's no mistake. It's God who brought you here. And is with you here. Because he's with you. This is your message. It's not for the nation, but it's for you. Amen. Say it is my message. And because it's my message, the Lord is with me. And because he's with me, I will overcome. I will reach where God wants me to reach. I'm talking about a man who was hiding. A man who was saying, it's over with us. I'm here to tell you that when the Lord is with you, he turned the tables down. When the Lord is with you, he can take you from the family that you are rejected. Remember the Bible says, Joseph was with the Lord. To extend that when he was in the house of Potiphar, he prospered even when he was a slave. When, when the Lord is with you, even when you are a slave, you find yourself, you know, prospering in a mighty way. Amen. Do you know that the Bible said the Lord was with David? Amen. In a way that when Saul gave him a position and he wanted to kill him, he wanted him to die there. And the Bible says because the Lord was with him, he became wise. He became wise. And when he became us, Saul was afraid of him. When the Lord is with you, people will be afraid of you. And those who plan against you, they will be defeated. The Bible says that the Lord went to Mary and he says, I'm with you. You have been found favor before God. You have found favor. She says, who, what greetings are like this? In other words, this is really contrary to what you are saying. You cannot say the Lord is with me when we are facing all this. I'm betrothed to a man who's not even working well. He's just a carpenter. And he's failing to marry me. And you say the Lord is with me. I, I'm facing what I'm facing, but you say the Lord is with me. Listen, when the message of the Lord is with you comes, it comes against the situation you are facing, the trouble you are going through. Today, this trouble will be troubled by the trouble that comes from God. Amen. If you are hearing me, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. When the Lord is with you, you have to give birth of what has never been there. 
the Bible says nothing was coming. But when the Lord visited this woman, we can see something good came from there. This year something good will come from there. Amen. Will come from you. Amen. If you hear me shout hallelujah. hallelujah. In fact, I'm just here with this message because I was told that by the time of David, I just want to show you scriptures when I'm going on. By the time of David, when David has overcome the whole enemies, it was quiet. So now he was worried about the house of God. Because the ark of God was living in a tent and he was staying in a mansion. And the Bible says that he reached a point when he was worried and he was visited. The Lord is with you. Because the Lord is with you, listen, this will happen. There will be a time you leave here. You see, your enemies will be defeated. But there will be a son that will be born out of you. Will be the one that will build the house you are crying for. Amen. Revelation came when the Lord was with you. Reve revelations come. When the Lord is with you, he will give you revelation. He will tell you that you will reach there and you can't reach there. Therefore, where you cannot reach, you won't worry. Because you are aware that the Lord is with you and you cannot do what you are not called to do. You will do only what you are called to do. If you are hearing me shout hallelujah. <laughs> Let me show you from the scripture because I just want to share with you some verses. Because when I'm, I'm talking about this, it looks like uh, I'm talking stories. 1 Samuel 3. Verse 19 to 21. And Samuel grew, and the Lord was with him. Uh -huh. And did let none of his words fall to the ground. Mm. And, mm. and the Lord appeared again in Shiloh. For the Lord revealed him, Lord revealed himself to Samuel in Shiloh by the word of the Lord. Let's stop there. Samuel grew to extend that even his lies became true. You won't understand what I'm trying to tell you. Samuel, when he was growing, when he speak the word and said there will be a rain, the rain will come. God never allowed his word to fall to the ground. He didn't say God never allowed what he prophesied. He says, God never allowed his word to fall to the ground. In other words, Samuel will say, I need to drive that car. And when he said that, and someone will give him that car. Samuel will say, listen, next week, there's going to be a lot of water, rain is coming. He, sometimes Samuel was not prophesying because he saw. If you can remember, the servants of God in the Bible, they were not prophesying many of them because of what they saw. When we talk about Elijah even himself, the Bible says, one time he says, there will be no rain until my word. He was not told that there will be no rain. It's God who says, because you said it, now move to Kidron Valley. So God honor the word you speak if he's with you. you know, this is, means that our plans will be successful. It means that what we think will come to the pass. Uh, I don't know if you're hearing me. If you say something, God is listening. Uh, I don't know if you're hearing me. So whatever you say, it will come to pass. I said the Lord is with you. There was a time I went to Utwana. And I didn't know that there was no rain. I mean, many months. And the people were using water that they bathed and take it to them to restroom and use them in toilets. And I was there in the stadium. So when I was preaching, and then I was hearing people say, hey, pray for the rain. Pray for the rain. I began to say, this week there'll be a rain. People say, ah, we have months without rain. I said, this week, as long as I'm here, there's going to be a rain. I was just talking. On the weekend, the rain came. I don't know if you're hearing me. The Lord wants to honor your word. 
When the Lord is with you, something will happen. I don't know if you're hearing me. I said, the Lord is with you. I can see God is about to change your situation. But the Bible says life and death is in the power of your tongue. If life and death is in the power of your tongue, it means you are the one to speak something and the Lord will honor it. If you're hearing me, say amen. amen. Let's just read the last scripture because I'm just here to tell you the Lord is with you. That's why I'm here. Can we just read this one? Luke 1, 26. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. Read Matthew 1, 18. 21. Now the birth of Jesus was on this wise, when as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with the child of the Holy Ghost. Uh, carry on reading. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise, when as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. 19. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privately. 20. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, Fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. I want you to close your Bible. I want to Thank you, Lord. Thank close, you, Jesus. Close your Bible. When the Lord is with you, Amen. He brings connection. Thank you, Lord. He establishes connection. What it looks like. It is your failure. The Lord will speak for you. Because here we are hearing the favor that was going to Mary. And now the Bible says she was found that by those words, pregnant. So secretly, Joseph said, no, this lady has embarrassed me. There's nothing I can do. It means other people will know me. It's better I run away privately. When the Bible says privately, it means privately. He thought about going away. When he thought about going away, the angel went to him and said, Listen, you cannot leave this woman. The favor of God is upon her. What was done? You cannot, listen, when you have the favor of God and the Lord is with you, you don't defend yourself. You don't speak for yourself. Mary could not speak for herself. The men have got plans to run away. But the angel was sent to go to Joseph. Joseph, Joseph, he wake up and said, don't leave this woman. Because what happened to her is from the Holy Spirit. Take her as your wife. Already the stories were going everywhere. The shame was known. There are some people today, you are trying to cover your shame. You are trying to make people to understand you. But listen, if truly the Lord is with you, he will speak for you. I say he will speak for you. When we leave this week, this week, this week, I want to see God doing something on someone here. He will connect you. The connection that I died of will resurrect and the power from God will come and overshadow you. What will be born of you will be coming from God. Because listen to this, there are people who think it's over with you and yourself also, you are discouraged and people are knowing your failure. She was known as a failure. 
She was known that she's not going anywhere. And this was embarrassing. You cannot hide the pregnant. In other words, people are aware that this is a problem. And Joseph says, let me run away. But the angel came. The angel of God will come to speak for you. Where you are working, where you are doing business, Amen. the angel of God is about to come Hallelujah. and speak for you. There are times where you will be so much tired. There was a time where I, I, I saw the angel. The angel. On 2019. Amen, amen. When people were talking against me. And the angel came and said, remember you are a candidate of heaven. Amen. So don't listen to what they are saying. Go to America. Go to America and do crusades. I left them talking. And I went to U.S. there. When I'm there, I got more favor than when I'm in my country. They kept quiet. God will silence your enemy this year. He is with you. I say he is with you. Hallelujah. I say the Lord is about to change hallelujah. your situation. If you are hearing me shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor, I'm here because of that. Amen. 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 When the Lord favor Cornelius. When the Lord favored Cornelius, he was too much traditional. But the Lord sent an angel. Cornelius, you have found favor. The Lord is with you. There's a man who's there. Follow him, this man called Peter. Amen. When he comes here, there's something that will happen to you. Amen. We knew that I know that the Lord is with you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, let's all say Hallelujah. When Peter was called, he wanted to eat. In fact, I was thinking about that. He wanted to eat. And the Bible says he went to a trance because he was not believing in certain people like myself. I never believed that I can come this side. And God say, rise up and eat. He said, no, I cannot eat this. He says, no, what has been chosen by God? Don't say he's dead. When he wake up, Holy Spirit said to the ear, hey, there are men who are waiting for you. There. Go and meet them. Go with them. And Peter reached there and asked, they said, we have been sent. We didn't kneel down. Peter said, no, 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 don't kneel down. I'm a servant like you. Let's go to Cornelius' house. When we are there, the Bible says when Peter was still speaking, the Holy Spirit could not wait. Could not wait. He was not forcing them. The Holy Spirit fell on them. Something has happened today. Amen. God bless you. I want to stop there. It's only people who have spiritual ears who heard what I said. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> yes. How many of you heard what I said? Lift up your ears. If you heard it, say Amen. Ha amen. Say amen. Hallelujah. 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 One of the things that God gave me, I want to see it happen here. I will tell you what happened to me. I went to, I used to be invited when I'm young. So until I don't accept invitations. Even when you spoke with me, remember I told you that it was because of that light that I saw. That makes me to pray the more. Because I go there to this man. He loved my things. And I was told how much people are not listening to you. I was told very bad things. And I believe the grace of God will come upon you. So, I was told I went to this church. I'm just giving you an example when I'm closer. And I found in that church, 
I didn't know. It was an old man who invited me, but I was a young pastor. Maybe I was 30 years. I don't know. <laughs> so I went there. So when I was preaching, we had a church of double story. Nigerians build churches. The big churches. And then I was preaching there. So I was told that all his children, he had six children, five boys and one girl. All of them are prophets. They can see in spirit. So when I was busy preaching, my heart was, how this can happen? So I remember a scripture. The Bible says that Philip, the evangelist, had three girls who prophesied. So I say it's possible. So it means this man is living right. So now, when I was busy preaching, 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 so deliverance started. People start to scream. I mean, there were problems. So I could not wait to see everything. I ran to that man. He's an old man. I said, if this man can just touch me, I want his grace. I want the grace of that man. So I ran to where he was sitting. And kneel there, the men touch me and say, my son, I've never seen this. You are from South Africa, but I've never seen this in South Africa. It's only in Nigeria we see this. I say, oh. I say, this is not what I'm here. So I hold his shoes so that he pray for me. So here, something is happening. Himself is talking about the, I was waiting for him and say, Receive what you are here for. So the moment when he said that, I said, hey, Amen. And I left. I was with him. He showed me that all his kids, they, all of them, he doesn't know why. I said, no, it's biblical. So when I reached home, I said, Lord, it must happen to my children. It has happened. Amen. It happens. Amen. So whatever you aspire and desire, in the spirit, it happens. I believe as I'm here, Amen. have a desire here. Amen. It will come to pass. Amen. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. I want to call you to salvation if you are here. You remember what I was trying to say? That not all of us can you go to heaven? You know your life. You can say today, in this day, I want to change. I have this weakness, I have that, I have this. I can give you a chance to lift up your hands and say, yes, I'm coming to church, yes, but I'm not living a Christian life. I have weakness. Lift up your hands and say, I want to repent. I will pray with you. Thank you. Lift up your hands. Uh, Thank did you hear what I was trying to say? Amen. Can you just say what I'm saying? Yes. I Those say, who have weaknesses, they can raise their hands. Uh -huh. If you have any weaknesses in your bodies or anything, raise your hands. Okay, stand up. All of you are lifting up your Amen. hands. Amen. Yes. Let's say this prayer. Say, Father. Lift Father. up your hands and say, this. Say, Father. Father. We are here today. We are here today. As sinners. As sinners. Help us. Help us. To overcome our weakness. To overcome our weaknesses. Help us. Help us. To overcome our sin. To overcome our sins. Wash us with the precious blood. Wash us with the precious blood. Make us your children today. Make us your children today. We thank you for salvation. Thank you for salvation. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Can I pray for you now? Yes. Yeah? yes. We are ready. So today, uh, feel free. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, the camera can come here. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen, the first deliverance we are starting is all of us, we are surrounded by the enemy. The Bible says, Satan, turn around, isn't it? Eh? Running around. Searching for around, the yes. one who can devour, yes. isn't it? Yes. 
So he put something there to trap us. So we want to remove those things. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Uh, anything. Anything. That was placed by Satan around us. That was placed by Satan around us. Uprooted. Uprooted. We uprooted. Uprooted. So move away from chess. Move away. Come a little bit. Come. Yes. Come little forward. Little before. Yes. Like, stop there. So that you do what I'm telling you. Let me just stand here. Whatever I'm telling you to do, maybe you won't do it when like this with Mike. But let's allow this one to stand like that. So I'm, I'm taking you to a deliverance. Many of you will be delivered. Many of you will vomit. There will be problems here. There are things in you that must come out. Are you hearing me? Yes. Say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Show, show, do what I'm, copy me what I'm doing. Say, in the name of Jesus. Yes. Anything around me. Anything around me. Anything around me. That was placed by the enemy. Today. I uproot it. I remove it. I remove it. I remove it. Listen. Remember I said do what I'm doing. Is it? Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Are you ready? Ready. Okay. Listen. When you move from here, you'll be free. Even your dreams will change. Amen. Amen. Say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Anything that was placed around me. Anything that was placed around me by the devil. Anything that was placed around me. Anything that was placed around me. That fought my destiny. That fought my destiny. Today I uproot it. Today I uproot it. Can you turn when you are doing the uproot it? Uproot it. Say so uproot it. Uproot it. Turn around, turn around, all turn around them, when all you are doing it. Uproot it. Say it. Uproot it. Say it. Uproot it. You are not doing what I'm telling you. Turn around. Uproot it. Uproot it. Uproot it. Uproot it. Uproot it. Turn around. Turn around when you are saying that. Uproot it. Uproot it. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Listen. You have not started it. Because only five minutes. We are able to do this five minutes. And you will be free. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, do what I'm saying to you. I'm sure you have never done it anyway. Amen. Is it? Yes. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Anything that was planted around me. Anything that was planted around me. Turn around, turn around. Around me, around me. Me, Say me, you are around me. Use around me. Around me. Use around me. Use around me. I approach you. I approach. I approach. Turn around. Turn around. Approach you. Let me see you turning around. Approach you. Approach you. Turn around. Saying it. Approach you. Turn around. Saying it. Let me see you doing it. Let me check you. Approach. Turn around. Saying it. Approach you. Turn around. Saying it. Approach. Say it. Say it. Say it. Approach you. Say it. Approach you. Say the name of Jesus. Turn around saying it. Say the name of Jesus. You are not turning around. Approach you. You are not turning around. Approach you. Say it. Carry on. Say it. Say out. Say out. Say out. What are you telling us? Say out. Say out. Approach you. Turn around saying it. Thank you, Jesus. Turn around saying it. Turn around saying it. Turn around saying it. Approach you. Approach you. You are not turning around. In Jesus' name. Listen. Amen. Listen, you, you have fear. You the fear is what is that will happen to me? There are things that you don't know. Jesus. Listen, Satan will never come to you until he have his things with you. Satan will never come to you until there are things. That's why many of you, when you sleep, you are eating things in the dream. So that demons will come to eat it in you. So now today, we are breaking all the levels. Are amen, you amen, 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 amen. So can you do what I'm telling you? Yes. Um, let me check you yes. when you're doing that. Uh, can I, do you want to do it? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. We have got two things to do, but we have not done this in a right way. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Anything that has been planted around me. Anything that, anything that has been planted around me. around me. 
Satan is here. Anything that has been planted around me. I uproot it. I uproot it. I uproot it. Can you remove? Carry on. Let me see you. I uproot. I uproot. I uproot. Hallelujah. Let me see you turning. Hallelujah. Turning. I uproot them all. I uproot them all in the name of Jesus. I uproot them all. I can't hear you. Say out. Say out. I didn't say stop. Say out. out. Turning around. Turn around. Out. Okay. All of you come here. Come here. All of you come here. All of you come here. Come here. All of you here. All of you come. Because there are hidden demons in you and you don't know. Come. 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 Don't have fear. Come. We are not many, but when I come here, I want to see you people supporting this church. I want to see you people Amen. prospering. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. I want to see success here. Amen. You, you understand? Yes. So we need to break this thing today. Amen. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Anything, around me, Anything around me, I approach it. I approach it. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Yes, do it. Do it. Run, 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 run now, run, run. Run, 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 run. Run. Run now, run. You are not running. Oh my God. You are not turning around, turn around, turn around. <laughs> you see? <laughs> run, 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 run. Don't look at anybody. <laughs> yeah. You, 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 saw your, you saw your failing on this one. You saw it? I eh? saw so, it. You saw your failing on this one? Okay. Can you see? There are demons that are hidden. There are, there, are, there are hidden demons here that are hidden in you. And you can be in the church and they are inside you. Let me just give an example. Can you just come here? Can you just say, can you do it, what I'm trying to say? Just turn around. Sure. Do, let me see. Say, I approved it. Say it, I approved it. I approved it. In the name of Jesus. Turn around in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You're a young man, turn around. Say, I approved it. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Can, can you just do it? Yes. Carry on. Uh -huh. Carry on, run, carry on, run, run, run like this. In the name of Jesus, I approach it. In the name of Jesus, I approach it. In the name of Jesus, eh? carry on, yeah, like that. Enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy it. So you have to do it like this, this man, and enjoy this thing. You won't fall, but do you know how you fall? It's when you start to think, hey, it's like I'll, I'll fall here. So your mind is on falling. That's why you fall. But when you are doing it like this, I brought it in the name of Jesus. I brought it. But this, let's do it for the last time. We check. Do you want to do it? Yes. Okay. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Did you see what this young man was doing? Yeah. Was free. It's like you are praying. But you are saying, I brought it in the name of Jesus. I brought it in the name of Jesus. I'm sure you understand that. So say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Anything that was planted by Satan around me, I uproot it. I uproot it. I uproot it. Run, run. You are doing it now. You are doing it. You are doing it now. Now you are doing it. Carry on. Carry on. Only one minute. Carry on. One minute. I uproot it. Carry on, carry on, carry on. Enjoy it. Turn around.
You are not turning around. You are left with one minute. One minute. Turn up. Do it more. Do it more. Do it more. Carry on. Carry on. Something is leaving you. Can you see? Look at my pastor here. I approved it, I approved it, I approved it, I approved it, enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy it, carry on like that. In Jesus' mighty name. So you are halfway free. Because if you have a disease like high blood, diabetes, you know, many diseases in your body. You understand? It must come out. Amen. It must leave your body today. Amen. Now, you are going for this last thing before I pray for you. Remember that you are approaching something, isn't it? Now you don't turn around now. Lift up your hands. Yes. Open your mouth. Like, so, what you're going to do is anything, say anything, anything. that is inside me, that is inside me. From, the enemy. from the enemy, from Satan, from Satan. Today, it will come out. today it will come out. What you're going to do, you open your mouth, open your mouth now. Make a deep breath. <sighs> <sighs> Carry on. Something in you will come out. What you are given will come out. You will vomit it. You say ha. Ah. Say. <gasps> Do it. In Jesus' name. Look here. You say, ah, ah. You say, you breathe with your mouth. Do it only ten times only. You'll be free. As they're doing like this, Father, anything in them which is not planted by you, let it come out. Don't breathe with your nose. Breathe with your mouth. <gasps> Deep breath. Yes. You are doing it. Something is coming out here. Out! In Jesus' name. Amen. So you are free. So now you can go back. I pray for you. You can go back. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. This mama, this one, is something in the stomach that must come out. Come here. You are going to vomit something today. And you'll be free. <laughs> yes. Uh, let's put her behind there. Let's put her behind. I'll come and pray for you. Yesterday, when I was going here, pastor was telling me that uh, there's someone just to lay hands on the person. The person got a testimony. Who is the person? The one you say, sell rice. I mean, this man was telling me. He says, his brother, where's the brother? 
You say the when I, because these are miracles I know. These are miracles I know. Before I pray for you, I want to hear that miracle. Where is the brother if he's around here? Because he was telling me that after I lay hands on him, as long as he tried to sell and nothing was selling. Where is he? He's not here. Where is him? Yes. To me, this <coughs> this is a miracle. Come here. I want to hear this miracle. To me, it's a testimony because after I pray for you, yes, let's hear, let's hear, because I know, I know that some of you. You came and told that you received a phone call. Yes, let's hear that. What happened? We brought some containers last uh, last last few months, and uh, suddenly I am coming to the church. Lay hands on you like this. Already the Lord is doing it. Amen. I don't know if you hear me. Just laying hands. I was in California. In California. California. And then I met an Indian woman there. Okay. And she says she's coming from uh, India okay. to come and see me in California. Just look at the distance. To see me one on one there. So I told her that you are healed of diabetes. Amen. She fell down. And uh, she said, no, she's surprised what is happening. I says, everybody's diabetic at home. She says, no, it's my sister. She says, okay. her sister is diabetic. I said, okay, let's find out about your sister at home now. So she said, she's calling her sister. The phone was just ringing. I call her sister, the phone was just ringing. And later, I said, okay, let's wait. After 10 minutes, she called her sister, the sister pick up. I said, ah, sister, I'm with the man of God here. He says, I'm healed of diabetes. She says, she's surprised she fell down. In India. Hallelujah. She she says I felt it happened same time. We are in California. Pray for this woman, she fell down. Even the sister, the same disease in India. India fell down. So it's possible. So today here yeah, we are dealing with something that was Amen. happened same time. Hallelujah. So let's, let's listen to this. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Uh, in fact, uh, we brought some few containers. I was running a small business. It was uh, last uh, few months we brought this container. This time it was not able to sell it. Yes. It was uh, every time it was fa facing some issues and people are rejecting me, all this thing. Yesterday, all of a sudden, I was uh, coming to church and suddenly I received a call from uh, one of the royal family. And he said, don't worry, I will take your entire shipment. So entire. I was, entire shipment, whatever you have, I will take it. He says, you want to buy everything you have? Yeah, he, will, he said can, he will buy everything. Can you hear that? Entire container. Entire shipment he will buy. How many containers? They have a three containers. Three containers. Three Pastor. containers. Three yeah. containers. And they say they want to buy everything. Everything, yeah. So, and you were not selling. Uh, it was not selling. Even uh, this time, it was very, very difficult finding, very hard to sell it. I don't know what happened, but I saw the message on the 28th of April that whatever business you started, it will stop automatically. But I was thinking, what went wrong? We tried very hard, myself and my brother, we tried very hard, but it was not selling. What happened when you were prayed for yesterday? I was uh, really with the anointed, uh, it felt like electric you shock. You fell down? Yeah. And you don't know what happened? No. So you see things like this. He's falling here. Here he's getting a message that the whole containers, three containers. Do you know the container, one container can got a lot. But three containers, you can be surprised. Listen, my brother, God has raised you. Yeah. Amen. Do you hear me? Amen. Has raised you. When you get Don't money, worry, I hold you. When you get money, begin to support this ministry. Amen. I was told that there are people here who will be raised here. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. To support God's work. Amen. In fact, I'm going to come back here, whether your pastor likes it or not. Amen. Amen. I'm going to come back here because there will be many people here who will be 
pastors amen pastors and leaders amen amen amen, amen. 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 so i want people like you it must not be done by pastor this thing alone or some few people i'm sure you understand that there have to be people like you many people like you will be raised amen, amen. so amen. you're going to have money thank you jesus serious amen. money you're going to be a millionaire hallelujah amen. so now when is this thing start to happen you don't leave the church amen is going to become millionaire this man is already millionaire i stand closer to him amen <laughs> He, this man he have a problem yeah he's not serious with god yes yeah there 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 you cut him pastor you cut him correctly yeah he's not serious with god you cannot go to this church and you come to this church amen, amen. You, you, this is a mistake you are heavy amen. you see right now you are blessed now amen yes now you are blessed you have to be here you cannot go there don't go to catholic Amen. You hear me? Yes. Don't go to Catholic. Amen. You are here in this church. Pastor, he has a question why? Because of the sake of his salvation. Hallelujah. You know story. You can lose everything. Catholic here. Cuz see, I'm seeing him in a Catholic this man. Mm. Coming here. You cannot you cannot succeed. I want to pray for you. So Hallelujah. today we stop Catholic issues. Amen. You understand? Yeah. Because of the grace you have received. Amen. And now Jesus. when money comes I'm not saying catholic is bad it's good for others but it's not good for you Amen Amen I don't know if you are hearing me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah So it's not good for you are you hearing me Yes So you are about to be blessed Amen Thank you Jesus Yes and i'm pray for him because i'm see that it will be like this his business will be like this so i want to pray for many people like him here who will support this work the church of god cannot be like this it cannot be like this pastor 100% sure today he is completely delivered he never is to fall like this eh? he never is to fall like this He never fell. Never fell like this. He fell different ways. He went under the sofa, under here, there, but never is true like this fall. The way is falling. But now I know he is totally delivered. Amen. Amen. I, I, in fact, Pastor, huh? when God wants to lift you up, He raises people to stand with you. you. He says, "Thank you." So now, this man, even him. This Amen. Way. Come this head. Even you. You people here, you stand with Come this there. man forever. Come there. Go in so front. You are standing behind him. When are you going to India? Me? Yes. When are you going to India? Um maybe next week I'm planning. Eh? After you leave from here. You are going to India, isn't it? Yes. Cuz I'm see you going to India. And I'm see you going to preach there. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Yeah. So, but though you are preaching, this man is going to have churches. So, there will be another church here, another church here, another church there. Thank you. And God will raise people like you also to have a church in the future. You hear what I'm trying to say, sir? Huh? Yeah, so don't leave the ministry. Yeah. Because otherwise you already you have the grace to preach. but this grace of preaching it must not die in india let's have something here why why not dubai why not there are many places that god can lift this man and people can go and have churches hallelujah thank you you hear what i'm going to say yes. eh? amen god bless you god bless you. can i Can I get uh, I want to pray for that man. Yes. Thank you Lord Jesus. I'll be praying for all of you now. Lord, you are healed today. Amen. You you want to have stroke. You hear me? Yes, pastor. You want to have stroke because devil want to beat you with a stroke. Huh? Come, come here if you know. You say what? 
Last Friday I took him to the hospital with the heart pain. You took him to hospital with the last pain? Chest pain. It's a stroke. The devil wants to beat him with a stroke. He's going to be healed today. Amen. Leave him, leave him, leave him, leave him. You people here, when I pray for you, hold them. And it's the Holy Spirit who's pushing them. It's not me. You put them down to be in the operation of God. Can you see what has happened to this man? Amen. Look at him. Thank you, Jesus. Look at this man. Hallelujah. I canceled the stroke today. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus, man. Look at, look at him. Look at him. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, man. Can you put your mic in his mouth here? I just hear some sounds. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, mighty name. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm sure you have never seen him like this. No. Yeah? No. Because this is a pain. This pain already was tried to make something like a pimple when I look at it. When I look at it. So it's supposed to be like a hole. And once it becomes a whole, leave him, leave him. Leave him. Jesus' name. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Say, even your leg, this one, Amen. you feel it somehow, eh? Can you speak? Yes, Master. Eh? Yes. How do you feel in the left, in the right leg? It's eh? free now. It's free now. Yes. You're no longer feeling anything. Yes, no. You used to feel what before? Before I was so much. Eh? You could not, you were limping. Yeah. Show me when you walk here, yeah. that you're no longer limping. So you are walking freely. You are free. Walk. Carry on. In Jesus' name. So you don't feel pain. Eh? Let me hear you. You don't feel pain. Not, not now. Not now. Yes. Sir. But when you were sitting there, you were feeling pain. Eh? Yes. Yeah. So even if you do like this, can you do it? Yes. You don't hear anything. No. Pastor. You are free forever. Amen. Free. Amen. Thank you. There's a, the, the cancer issue. Those who, because I want to pray for the sick people. Like, if you have a cancer, come. You have a cancer, come. Those who have cancer? Any cancer. Those who have cancer, please come. I'm looking at you. <laughs> My God. Cancer issue, come. Come. Did you go to the doctor? Yeah, I have. Huh? I'm operated of a hips bone pro problem, and but uh, now I'm getting from here to spinal uh, scatters uh, veins pain. My sister have cancer. Your sister? Because I'm looking at you here when you're sitting here. She's My in sister. the hospital. She's in the hospital. Yeah, for a last uh, one week we came in Cancer Institute. But this is going to be a cancer of the family. Yes. Yeah, my mom had cancer. Your mom have cancer? Yeah, my mom because had even cancer. even yourself here. Yeah. This thing is starting. It's a cancer that is starting. And your sister is having cancer. It's a family issue. We need to stop it right now. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Pray for all of us. Separately for ourselves. Thank you, Jesus. When I'm praying for you, I'm praying for your sister. That she must not die.
now. Leave the family. The spirit of death. You are free, sister. Look here. Can you bend? Because I heard you can't bend. How do you feel? I had a pain from your my. You were feeling pain here. Yeah, and then it goes to your. And so you were my, you were failing to bend. I feel I bend, then I get pain here. You then get it, a pain when you bend. It comes here. Now, how do you feel now? Because I heard the pain has left you. My back pain is gone. But it's gone it now. It, it Praise comes God. Here. Right. It, it, comes is, down. it is there, Pastor. Back pain is gone, but the knee. The back pain is gone. Yeah, but uh, it is the one that is causing the leg problem. <laughs> so this, the, the the root cause is on the back. So you are free. Amen. Amen. Pray, pray. You are free. You are free. You are free. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Let me pray for. Let me pray for you, sister. At the back there. The sister there. Yes, come. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> I want you to come with the baby. She has a baby recently. She got a huh? one month ago. One month? One and a half months ago. I want to pray for you. Eh? And that's her husband. It's her husband? Yeah. I want to pray for you so that you live long. All of you. Because they really wanted you not to give birth. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Huh? Him. So I want to pray for you. You will live long. Amen. Yes, Jesus. And your child will live. Amen. You hear that? Yeah, these dreams you were having, you will never have them again. You hear me? Thank you, Jesus. Look here. Don't close your eyes. Leave it. I'm seeing you, your spirit. <laughs> Leave it, you demon. Yeah. Leave it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I want to pray for you. Today you are free. You hear me? Eh? You are free because you love the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You love, you love the Lord. You love amen, the Lord. Amen, amen, amen. You That's love, true, Pastor. Huh? That's true. That's she true. loved the Lord. So Hallelujah. Let us say I must pray for her so that her legs will be okay. Amen. amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Let me pray for this man. She has a good back. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Lord. Sister, Thank you, Jesus. here in your shoulder, you feel like there are things here. I feel so free and thank God. You are free today. You feel free. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. She says she feels so free. Brother, let me touch you here. And, thank you, Jesus. Uh, don't touch them, these people. Usher them. I wish I came with my ashes here. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Because we are in the operation room of God. Today, uh, I'm setting you free. Where is your wife, my brother? Where is the wife? Because I'm hearing that I must pray with you, with your wife. Come. Come, come, come sister. Come on, hurry up. I won't take more time. I'll pray for all of you. Are you hearing me? No, brother. We have no eh? are, are, are you relaxing? Yes. Praise God. I'll pray. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Ghost. Yes. Holy Ghost. I'm blowing on you because of the things that are happening here. Holy Ghost, fire. Don't fire. Don't touch them. Fire! So your, your job is to catch them. They must not hit them. Yeah, you, you. No, 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 not to catch, but keep your hand up. So when they're telling you, you say, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 
I will destroy the spirit of snakes. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The spirit of religion. Thank you, Jesus. Spirit of snake, I destroy you. Heal me, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Jesus. Heal me, Lord. All of my ears are tough. Heal me, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, heal me, Lord. Yes, Lord. I completely heal, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Can you hear what she's saying? Can you hear him? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. She said what? She's healed today. This thing that is in the womb is going. Amen. You feel pains here? Amen, amen. Huh? Let me see. Yeah, you feel pain, eh? Fibroid. Fibroid. What? Fibroid. Fibroid. Yeah, so this thing is going. You are free, eh? Uh, you have a very good heart. I wish I can take you to Africa. You don't want to. <laughs> you, you don't want to go to Africa. You want me to come if God's will? I'll come. Yes, yes. I want to pray for you here. You, I want to see you doing a wedding. Amen. You hear me? Are you hearing what Pastor said? Yes, yes. The person you will marry will be a pastor. <laughs> Do you want to marry a pastor? Eh? Yes. Are you ready to serve God? Yes. Because I'm seeing you with a man of God. And, and someone will be here. God will send someone here to marry you. Yeah, in, in the Middle East? Huh? In the Middle East? What? From the Middle East? <laughs> <laughs> or South Africa. You, you, you want me to reveal this? Please. Huh? Please, she shall be blessed. Waiting for a long time. No, you have been waiting for a long time, isn't it? Amen. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. So wait. Hallelujah. You hear me? Wait here. Yeah. There's someone who will marry you here. Oh. Amen. 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 Pastor, you have to come for the wedding. We will both conduct the wedding. Huh? You come for the wedding. You come here. We both will conduct the wedding for her. I'm telling you, whatever I speak, it happens. Ah, happen, yes. happen, happen. I'm seeing it happening. Hallelujah. I'm seeing your enemy fully. Amen. People will think you are not going anywhere. Because you have been serving God with all your heart. Your wife, don't worry about your wife. Yes, your wife. Your life, Satan is searching for you. Satan is searching for you. So, God is protecting you today. Amen. Jesus name. Amen. Jesus name. Jesus name. Amen. Jesus name. Amen. Congratulations. God bless you. Amen. So, which one I did? Brother, let me touch you. Let me touch your chest. Let me touch you here. On you, eh? Like Thank you. this. Like this. Uh, bring in. Let me hit your chest here. Amen. I'll be up. Uh, so you that you must not have asthma. You hear me? So that you must not have asthma. Thank you, Lord. You hear me? Because I don't want to attack your, your chest. So I hit your chest. Bring him again. Thank you, Jesus. Hit your chest. Amen. Go. <laughs> Lift him up. Lift him. Yes. This is a final dose. So much gap, Thank you, Lord. Thank you. 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 Thank Tell anybody about this. You came alone. You came alone. You came alone. He did not tell. Wife is there. Wife is there. Where is the wife come? Yes. 
Were you away? You have a problem with the chest. Just go quick, chest problem. She had a heart trouble. She had a heart trouble. Then after that, he also had a checkup in Pakistan. They are Pakistan problem. Heart problem. Yes. Only for the checking. But the doctor is telling your wall have some blockage. Some some blockage. Heart blockage. Blockage. Because blockage. My heart blockage. Your blockage. Yeah. Let's give glory to Jesus. Amen. Amen. So, when, I, when I call you, because I don't know you, and uh, I touch your chest that you only have asthma. Because I, I asthma. You, you understand? Because I was realizing that your chest is congested. Mm. And soon you will fail to breathe. Hallelujah. What were you thinking? Yes, what are you now? When you hear someone coming, come, let me hit your chest. What do you think? Yes, I tell him. Uh, no, he doesn't remember anything. Uh, he doesn't remember but he came with expectation. God bless you. <laughs> God bless you. Amen, amen. Thank you. God bless you. You are free. You are free. Where is that sister I caught? Can I get other come people here. who are very sick here? Come. Yeah, yeah. Pastor, she has lots of problems. All evil, evil, magic, Satan's power. Everything. She cannot come forward, maybe. Let me touch you here. Come on, ladies. <laughs> uh, Thank you, Jesus. She has a good pen. Let me touch you, sir. One kidney. I think I'm praying for everyone the, the way I'm praying. Like we're praying, isn't it? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Please. <laughs> Really? Yes. Let me pray for that man. These two men come. Yes, both of you come. Thank you, Jesus. Come. Thank you, Lord. I was touching you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Anybody left here? Any percussion do Okay, Adam, Ramon, Melka, what were you feeling? You are not Joseph, anybody? Come, come. Brother Vakis, come to some of the prayers. Come, Adam. Let's finish the prayer. Since he's praying another five minutes, then we are going to close down. Yeah, let them come, let them come. Ajah, Melka. What were you feeling here? Diabetes. Diabetes, yeah. And here, how do you feel it? Nothing, sometimes. One bit, one bit. Just sit down. One by one, I'll call you. Just sit down. One by one, I'll call you. Sit down. Sit down, sit down. I'll let them come. I'll let them come. Okay, come, come, come. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Sometimes I've said something. Sometimes you feel something here. Sometimes. You are free, you are done with the cover. I can touch your heart, sir. Jose, I was going to touch you. I was here that you were supposed to be a god. Yeah, you were supposed to be a god. You are certain I attack it. You're supposed to be very educated. You're supposed to be, when I touch you in the head, you're supposed to be very educated. Yes. When you were young, you were very intelligent. Huh? It's true what I'm saying. Yeah. When I touch you, when something is fighting you, it's very fighting you. It's like you want to put your leg where you don't want to go. Because right now there's nothing to write home about. You're free? Thank you, Jesus. Let me touch you. Thank you, Thank you.
Daughter and husband. So, come on, come on. So this one is she in the church? Yeah. Huh? She's here. Yes. She's here. <coughs> that's her daughter. That's her husband. Yes. Where's her husband? All of the country. I want to bless you. Yes. yes. Bring, bring your husband. Thank you. Hold on. Hold on. Thank you, Jesus. This year, Pastor Muslim, this yeah. is a problem for me. Yeah. This year, I don't know this is a problem. Didn't hear that. That's what I'm touching you, sir. You don't need to tell me anything. So you're free, sir. You're free. Uh, you can be sir. I'm sure you'll be able to eat foods without fear. You hear me, sir? You'll be able to eat food without fear. Because uh, when you eat this, it affects you. When you eat that, it affects you. So to say, I'm back with uh, many years now. So I'm a bit careful of my diet. So today, you are going to die, isn't it? So, but don't worry, you are free today. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Amen. Let's Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Come on, come on, come on. Keep coming, keep coming. Thank you, God, Jesus. Come on, go, go, go ahead. Where is this woman? Thank you, Jesus. Bring her again, bring her again. Just touch a little bit like this, it will be fine. Amen. Come on, next one, next one. Thank you, Jesus. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, next one. Thank you, Jesus. Next one is. So, I don't want to call you here, but tomorrow I'll tell you something. Come on, next one. Come on, next one. Come on, next one. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Next one. Come on, sister. Amen. Next one. Come, sister. 
Come on, next one, cover seven. Come on, brother seven. Really? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, can you bear like this? That's the problem. Next. Come brother, what things like this? Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Tomorrow we are in Cadem CC Hall at 7 30 till 10 30. Now we are going to close down. Let's all stand up, please.